Twitter's new owner, Elon Musk, revealing his company's role in the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story in the fall of 2020. A Twitter thread comprising of 36 posts coming from journalist and author Matt Taibbi. He shared a screenshot of that October 2020 exchange featuring links to tweets the Biden team allegedly wanted taken down. And joining us to discuss this, and you can see the response there, handle these. That was the comment from Twitter from the request from the Biden team. Joining us now to discuss all of this is writer for The Daily Caller, Kay Smythe, and also joining us is former Democratic Massachusetts Congressman Barney Frank. Love having both of you here. Thank you. You know, Kay, let me start with you. What is your reaction to this? And especially that Twitter. I want to kind of go back to that screen that we just showed. This is interesting. This is, again, Matt Taibbi, the journalist, reciting it from Elon Musk, who opened the floodgates, said, you look, he wants sunlight. He wants to show these conversations. And it's these are coming basically from the Biden team. They're links. And then there's a reply from Twitter saying, hand these. It certainly looks like a bit of coordination uh, from Biden team folks and Twitter. What do you make of these new emails that just came out? I absolutely love it. I absolutely love every single second of this, Rita, because isn't it just the most affirming, validating thing that could have possibly happened? And it's all happened within what? less than a month of Musk taking over control of the company. I think it is beautiful. I think it's anarchy. I think it's being able to finally point a finger at the democratic system, the sort of cartel that we have in politics, and say, hey, guys, we all thought you were manipulating everything. We all knew that there was something dodgy going on. And now we have the receipts. As a young person who spends, you know, because of my work, spend a huge amount of time on Twitter, I see the bias. I am just, oh, I just can't wait for what happens next. I'm infuriated, but, you know, if it was going to go down, at least we know, right? At least we know that we were right about everything that we thought. We were right about all of our preconceived notions. You know, Barney, isn't this embarrassing uh, for Democrats and particularly people in the Biden team? Here it is in writing. Well, it's embarrassing for the people who uh, were at Twitter and for individuals who said no. But uh, what puzzles me is this. Twitter is one part of a very large, complex media operation. Uh, if all this information was there, why didn't uh, the Murdoch operation do it? What Did Fox News play into this about the Wall Street Journal? Um, the notion that by censoring tweets you somehow can keep a major issue quiet makes no sense whatsoever. So, yeah, it's something Twitter has to explain, and it may be, I haven't seen this stuff, uh, an example of them misbehaving, but the notion that this means that there was this vast conspiracy, again, uh, why didn't some of this stuff go, if it was so newsworthy, uh, to Fox News, to Wall Street Journal, uh, to Steve Bannon's operation, to all these other places. So, yeah, it is a sign that Twitter gave in to some pressure, but it's not at all an example of how something important was suppressed because you had all these other conservative anti-Biden media outlets that apparently also ignored this. Well, Kay, I got to correct Barney on that because Fox was covering this. The New York Post was covering it, and they got blocked out. I mean, that's absurd, Barney, but go ahead. Hang on, Barney. Let me get her to reply. Let me get her to reply. I've got to jump in here. I cannot believe that you honestly just said that. I am, I am a huge fan of your work. I am a huge fan of what you have done for certain aspects of this country. Some of it, you know, we can agree to disagree. But the fact that you can sit there and say that, you know, none of these other news outlets try to cover this story, this literally has dominated headlines for years. We all knew that the Hunter Biden laptop scandal was legitimate. Twitter absolutely censored it. We had the New York Post reporting on it. We reported on it over at the Daily Caller. Pretty much every single news outlet that comes in without the bias and the, I, I don't even, maybe there's some undercover funding from the Democrats. That wouldn't surprise me. But every single conservative news outlet took on this story and pushed it. It took until this year for the New York Times to admit it was real. That's the real corruption that goes on in the press media. 
Let me respond. What you said just totally contradicted your original statement that there was some conspiracy, some cartel that blocked it. We began this with the question of, well, why was this suppressed? Now you're saying, which I agree with, that it wasn't suppressed. It was all over the place. So what we have is it a was very absolutely small... suppressed by Sorry. Twitter. Do I, not manipulate I, I, my words. No, I, I was I'm asked sorry, what Peter. I thought about Do the I situation, and I gave Peter, an honest I'm, answer. Peter, what are the rules here? Wait, the, ru well, the rules are, Barney, I got to correct you on one issue here, just because, Kate, uh, both of, of you. That's Hang on, wait, wait, hold on one second. Little. Wait, wait, wait. No, but Barney, what we are talking about is Twitter. Twitter, which is an enormous platform with well, huge, Rita, huge reach. I, I it was suppressed there. Me. You agree on that? You're not correcting me, Rita. You're reaffirming me. My point was, <laughs> no, I'm not. you're not updating. This is I'm just sorry, please classic. Stop, stop wait, let, let me get Barney to respond. Go ahead, Barney. Thank you. The premise was originally, okay, that uh, this had been suppressed. My point was no, that there was a vast media operation that was publicizing it. And my point was, yes, I know we're only talking about Twitter, and my point is the fact that Twitter may have misbehaved in no way stopped the story from going forward. And there was some reference to, oh, the New York Post was blocked. How do you block the New York Post? It's sold all over the place. None of these other media were blocked. So my point is simply this. This is a story apparently about Twitter doing something wrong, but it is in no way a story that information was blocked because, as you both have said, it was widely publicized elsewhere. And so I but don't Twitter, But Barney, you have to admit, hang on a second, Barney, I let Twitter. you talk. You have to admit Twitter is a major, major platform. And yes, this was the beginning when things were being exposed one. about the blocking. And a lot of the other mainstream media, as Kay did rightly say, I mean, CBS just reported it, and it, they were two years later than the New York Post because people took the lead. It was right. sort of part of a concerted there. effort. Barney, hang on a second. Kay, 10 seconds. Well, I, I'll get you to well, reply. Peter, Kay? I, thought it's like I am program. just so no, unadulteratedly embarrassed for the fact that you were a congressman. And the way that you just talked around in circles, you say that I'm away. contradicting myself. I think it's, look, here's, here are the facts here. Twitter suppressed the story. The conservative media outlets of this amazing, amazing country reported on it. The leftist Correct. media outlets took years to admit the authenticity. That is exactly what happened. And now Musk is coming out and saying, actually, what's even better is not only do we know that the Hunter Biden laptop is real, but now we have the evidence that Democrats... People that we elect into office, I'm sure, or at least the people who hire them, went out of their way to contact people at Twitter to have data and information removed. That is yep. absolute suppression. Absolutely. On and the by part the way, and, and that is, and, and Barney, a lot of people, what I'm curious about is also these national security advisors who said, oh, it's Russian disinformation, which turned out not to be true. There clearly was a concerted effort, Barney, yep. on some of that. We got to continue. To be continued. I love you both. Thank you very much. Oh, I can't respond. Again, Thank you, Barney. So we'll get you back. I always no. give you guys time. You're yeah, coming back time next time, Barney. To be continued. Barney, you be on for five hours. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to don't think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.